Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of season 3 of The Rising of the Shield Heroes. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm So don't know. Can we leave her there? Do we really have to look for her? Oh, of course. She's blocking it. Then we really don't need to look for her. Screw her. <laughs> Typical kids.
Yeah, what else can you do? Fetal. <laughs> Girl? Hmm? Well, you know what? That's a smart ass answer right there. <laughs> Uh, we need the money. Come on now. You don't change your mind right now. Since he has no money, all he can do now is just steal food, correct? Don't look like it to me. Seriously?
It's just gonna continuously run like this. Why do you even bother helping him? <laughs> right, don't you think you should stop? Yeah, seriously, please don't run. I, I don't feel like having him run after someone else. Well, damn. Did he really just say that? This fucking bitch right here.
You're gonna be that easily fooled. Oh my god. Right, like, please th think with the right head, please. Uh oh. Girl, will you shut the fuck up for five fucking minutes? <laughs> so what? Thank you. Say it again. You really shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> but it was the other way around, we all know it. <laughs> All four of them. I mean, I feel for him, but it's also karma at the end of the day. I mean, you know, you talk shit, you get hit. This is his depression era, and I feel so bad for him because I didn't think he was going to get depressed like this. But, um, once again, karma is a bitch. Of course she'd be singing right now. <laughs> Oh my god, no you're not. <laughs> I mean, we already know.
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah, we, we need to explain a lot of things. Am I dreaming? Uh, no. Excuse me. What the fuck is this episode? <laughs> I okay, good, good. Everything in the second half, I was not expecting. Especially in the last couple of minutes of this episode, was not expecting that. Okay, so first, let's talk about the fact that, like, literally. Of, of a fucking harem. All four of them. Leave him. And, and then, of course, yes, you have bitch over here making up everything that she does like she typically does. I mean, you know, you were caught, you're a Karen before, you know, Karens even existed and such. Except she doesn't, you know, automatically go to a manager. Okay, that would probably be her mom or something. She's um, immediately going to another hero and be like, oh my god, yeah, look at what he did to me, X, Y, and Z. Oh my god, no, you're the only one that I really trust. But you know, what? 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 Are you kidding me? And, and then, okay, out of all the freaking people, all the people, <laughs> just, I, I mean, because I'm like livid now. You were telling me it, it sucks, especially for both heroes, for, for both the sword and spear, to deal with the consequences that they are dealing with. One loses all four of their teammates in them abandoning him, and the other one, all four of his, gets killed. That's really messed up. And then you think that someone who was going with someone else automatically is okay with you, cool with you, trusts in you, believes in you. I'm, I'm going to say this. We, as women, yes, we can, we, we're, we're very good at doing manipulation. I, and I get it, because... Done that, like that. Mm -mm. Depending on the situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. We were good at like wording and stretching that truth and lying. But just. Men can do the same fucking shit. It's such. But the fact that he believed her. Again?
<laughs> I really don't know what to say about that. <laughs> just like, you know what? I'll just say is this was something. This was an episode. Like, oh my god. Was not expecting everything that went down to go down like that. And then especially what to say is also falling over fetal again and stuff. I mean, guys, you know, you have the pretty cure just sing and then boom, like insulin, you gotta be in love with them and be like, Oh my god, yes. She's telling me that I can be the very best that no one ever was. Yes, I just took that from Pokemon. But still, you know, when the pretty cure says, Hey, go do this, you listen to the pretty cure and you'd be like, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But <laughs> Like, just stop for a minute. And this is over here, like, calling off of me. Like, this is stuff a little too far. I mean, can we just be comrades? Like, and just agree to disagree. And then, okay, also, here, here's the other thing. Where the fuck is the bow hero now? Like, where is he during all this? Like, of course, he's now somewhere else. I'm glad that we were able to see three of them interacting for just a moment. It is kind of messed up that also at the same time, our sword hero is literally like, listening to a bitch. And just, I'm just side-eyeing right now. Like, I, I cannot believe that fucking happened. But also, drawing your weapon out in the middle of a freaking bar. Like, what is wrong with you? It's too much. Moral of the story is don't always believe what the fuck she says. Like, seriously. I, 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 that's just women in general. Don't always believe what we say. Because, I mean, anything that could come out of our mouths, and, and this is the same thing for a guy as well, it, it could be a lie. It's a red flag! This was something. Th this really, truly was. <laughs> but it was a very interesting episode. <laughs> All I had to say was, what the fuck? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season three of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode five. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.